The idea was to treat people in great pain. Volunteers with severe knee arthritis were gathered from around the state and divided into groups. Two groups would have a surgical procedure. The third would be given a placebo, fake surgery. They'd have a general anaesthetic, be opened up, but wouldn't have any real procedure. They would merely think they had. I had to meet the surgeon. It's very important uh, for the patients not to know which treatment that they have. And they're always trying to look for clues. You know, they're always trying to get you to tell them. And uh, the best way to avoid that, of course, is to not know as a doctor until the last minute which treatment they're going to have. Each patient would receive a general anaesthetic, but only two groups would have an actual procedure. Not even the surgical staff knew who was in each group until they were in the theater. I would open the envelope in the room and I would read it, but I wouldn't announce it out loud. And then I would show it to the nurses who were working with me and I would show it to the anesthesiologist and nobody would ever say which of the three treatments was revealed in the envelope. We had a very elaborate ruse, if you will. I would play a videotape on the TV of a real surgery. And while I was watching the TV, I would ask for instruments and pass things back and forth and carry on conversation as if it was what I would really have done if what was happening on the TV screen was actually going on during that surgery. So we would have water splashing, we would have instruments clanking, and we would do this for the same amount of time that the actual surgery on the videotape took place so that uh, a patient and their family couldn't watch the clock and say, oh, we were only in the operating room for 10 minutes, so it must have been a pretend surgery. All this acting felt a bit weird to a doctor trained in standard surgical procedures. In the big picture, always in the back of my mind, I was thinking, good gosh, uh, here's a patient who we're pretending to do surgery on. We're not really doing surgery. And, you know, I, I'm a, a, a physician and a healer after all. And is this kind of really, you know, the right thing to do? Or what have I gotten myself into? It took two years for the study to be completed. Finally, it was time for Dr. Mosley to hear the truth from the patients themselves. I would say, uh, if you think that the surgery helped your knee, I want you to give me a thumbs up. If you think the surgery didn't help your knee, I want you to give me a thumbs down. And if you're not sure or you're, you're kind of neutral, just hold your hand flat. I mean, twist your knee the verdict? Success. Tears. For every group, uh, fake or genuine, sham surgery had worked. Case, the patients who had it were astonished. The response ranged from You've got to be kidding me, I can't believe it, bewilderment, there must be a mistake, because they all felt so strongly that something had happened to change what was going on inside their knee. During your training, what were you taught about the placebo effect? Nothing. I had no clue. I went from being a skeptic to a believer. I realized that we were really on to something. There are clearly cases where we do surgeries and it's uh, as much or more the patient's feeling about the surgery that influences the result as the actual surgery itself. Dr. Mosley had seen patients get better purely because of what was in their minds. The pain had gone. It seemed too good to be true, and it did all happen seven years ago. I wanted to see one of the patients who'd been in great pain before having Dr. Mosley's surgery. I wanted to know whether the placebo effect could still hold. When I first had that pain, when I first, before that, I couldn't do a lot of things I did, like going fishing or playing basketball or going dancing. And after that, I was able to do that. He could, Woo. we could go dancing. He took me dancing and he could dance all night. Can you describe what the pain was like before the operation? Terrible, awful, uh, uh, I, didn't, I didn't think that uh, it could be any worse. It's emotional. 
what, why is, is it because you were in so much pain before? Yes. And what would you say it was that really cured you? Was it Dr. Mosley or was it you and your mind? That is kind of an intriguing question, you know, because I got to credit Dr. Mosley for doing what he did. But it was my mind that cured the problem. that Dr. Mosley's patients had been cured by the sham operation, but I wasn't expecting it to have changed his life. I mean, he couldn't talk about the pain that he'd experienced without crying. 